For thousands of years, human beings have noticed certain points of light in the night sky that seemed to move differently. Ancient Greek astronomers named these points Astas Planetae, which means wandering stars. The term described many celestial objects, including Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, all of which can be seen at certain times of the year with the unaided eye from Earth. With the invention of the telescope back in the 1600s, these planets could be viewed like never before, and eventually, with years of continued observation, we discovered Uranus, Neptune, and the dwarf planet Pluto. Then, back in 1957, the Space Age started, with the successful launch of Sputnik 1, and since then probes have been sent all over the solar system on a mission to study these neighbouring celestial objects, sending data millions of miles back to Earth, including some incredible photographs. The first ever photograph of our planet taken from space was actually captured back in October 1946, long before the official space age started. It was made possible due to a German V-2 rocket launched from New Mexico in the USA that was equipped with a 35mm motion picture camera set to snap one picture every second and a half. This incredible photograph was taken when the rocket reached 65 miles above the ground and shows a grainy view of the Earth's curvature, clouds and land, giving the people of 1946 an entirely new perspective of our home planet. In July 1965, the Mariner 4 probe arrived at Mars after an eight-month voyage in order to study its atmosphere and radiation, but also to send back the first ever photographs of the Red Planet. This grainy close-up image shows a diagonal slope in the middle of the frame, which is actually the curved edge of the Martian world. Although the photograph wasn't much to look at, it was an extremely important moment, as this was the first time a man-made spacecraft had sent home a zoomed-in portrait of another planet. Mariner 4 went on to capture 21 incredible images, including many of the Martian surface during its flyby mission, showing lunar-type craters, one of which is 94 miles in diameter. In November 1973, Mariner 10 performed the first ever planetary gravity assist flyby while studying the mysterious planet Venus. The camera aboard the spacecraft captured this incredible close-up photo of Venus using ultraviolet filters, providing some of the best images ever taken of the strange world. The image shows complex details of the planet's atmosphere, revealing features that the human eye cannot detect. At its closest approach, Mariner 10 also photographed layers of haze extending 3.7 miles above the thick cloud decks. You can see the thick carbon dioxide clouds obscuring the planet's surface, where temperatures reach as high as 460 degrees Celsius. After using Venus to change its speed and trajectory, Mariner 10 headed towards Mercury, arriving at the planet in March 1974. The spacecraft captured more than 2,800 photos during three flybys, revealing a world that looks much like our own moon, light grey and covered in craters. Mariner 10 discovered that Mercury also had a surprising magnetic field, a large metallic core and surface temperatures ranging from a scorching 187 degrees Celsius on the day side to a frigid minus 183 degrees Celsius on the night side. 
One of the first ever close-up images of the colossal gas planet Jupiter was captured by the Pioneer 10 spacecraft as it flew past in December 1973 at a distance of around 1.8 million miles away. The most distinct feature in the photograph is the planet's great red spot, which is 25,000 miles long and large enough to swallow many planet Earths. The Voyager 1 spacecraft arrived at Jupiter in 1979 and captured a much clearer image using a combination of three photos taken through colour filters. This incredible photo reveals the gas giant's beautiful bands of swirling clouds that make up its dynamic atmosphere. Before Voyager 1 arrived at Saturn, the gas planet was first visited by the Pioneer 11 spacecraft, travelling within 13,000 miles of the ringed world. Pioneer 11 discovered a new ring now called the F-Ring and two previously unknown moons, but it also captured the first close-up photo of Saturn, revealing a grainy portrait of the gas giant's bands, ringlets and its mysterious planet-like moon, Titan. Pioneer 11 is now on a journey somewhere towards the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. However, contact with the craft was lost back in 1995. So far, the only close-up photos ever taken of Uranus from space were captured by the Voyager 2 spacecraft back in January 1986. Voyager 2 passed within 50,000 miles of the mysterious planet for just 5.5 hours, sending back incredible images of Uranus's atmosphere and moons, plus scientific data about the interior of the cold world. This photograph was taken during Voyager 2's approach and reveals a blush orb with extremely subtle features that are being hid by a layer of thick haze. Using a gravity assist from Uranus, Voyager 2 continued on to Neptune, arriving at the Blue Planet in August 1989. Just like Uranus, no other close-up images have ever been taken of Neptune before or since the Voyager 2 spacecraft. This incredible image reveals the planet's stunning blue colour that is a result of methane gas in the planet's atmosphere and a huge dark spot which is a cyclonic storm as wide as Earth. During Voyager 2's closest approach, the spacecraft also managed to snap an incredible close-up image of Neptune's high white cirrus clouds that are casting shadows onto the lower cloud decks. Back in 2015, the New Horizons craft captured the first ever close-up images of Pluto while it was 476,000 miles away from the icy dwarf planet. The image shows Pluto's diverse terrain, from towering mountains to vast plains and also the icy world's nicknamed Heart, a bright feature that measures approximately 1,000 miles across. After sending back thousands of photos of Pluto's surface and its moons, New Horizons is now on its way to the nicknamed Ultima Thule, a trans-Neptunian object that is located in the mysterious Kuiper Belt region. New Horizons will complete the flyby on the 1st of January 2019, making Ultima Thule the most distant object ever explored. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.